Aminochemical screening by using bacteriophage lambda GT11 vectors or even lambda ZAP vector, which is a type of phase mid vector, they can also be used for aminochemical screening. The previous aminological method of Broom and Gilbert, uh, it was based on the library construction uh, of the plasmid. So the library was on uh, plasmid recombinant molecules. But here, uh, the library construction uh, can be accomplished by using bacteriophage lambda vectors, like lambda GT11 or lambda ZAP vector. They may be a type of insertional vector. So one of the advantage is that here, the larger DNA fragments can be incorporated and the in vitro packaging, it is very efficient so that uh, as compared to plasmid libraries, uh, we can get high, num high number of recombinant pages. So initially, this technique was used in la late 1980s, uh, and here the cDNA libraries were constructed, uh, and the cDNA libraries, uh, they produce fusion proteins uh, along with beta-galactosidase uh, protein. So fusion proteins were produced and they were uh, then detected. So this method has the advantage that uh, uh, as compared to plasmid vectors, so large number of recombinant pages are there. And initially this method was uh, evaluated with lysogenized phage particles. So there induction was performed and then plaque formation was there and then uh, it was detected by using specific antibodies. But later on, uh, the direct phage method was used where recombinant phages were used and then the cell lysis is there by using appropriate host organism. So bacteriophage lambda GT11 or lambda ZAP may jab library construct ki gai, so is mein jo host organism use kiya gaya wo tha uh, lambda 1090, I think. So, this is E. coli strain, which uh, is host organism ke par use ki ja sakti hai. So, this is the advantage that it is a lack repressor, which is a high expression, which is a target gene, which is a prevent. Because high expression, uh, sometimes if it is untimely, so it may be hazardous. So, the expression of the gene. Ka, ये उस वक्त इंड्यूस होता है व्हेन वी ऐड सम सॉर्ट ऑफ इंड्यूसर लाइक आईपी टीजी इट इज अ इंड्यूसर दैट कैन बी यूज्ड टू इंड्यूस द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर जीन जब जीन uh, एक्सप्रेस करता है तो होस्ट ऑर्गेनिज्म की लाइसिस करते हैं तो जो लाइस प्रोडक्ट है या एक्सप्रेस प्रोडक्ट है इसको डिटेक्ट uh, किया जाता है बाय यूजिंग specific type of antibodies. So one of the advantage of this technique is that the replica plating it is not required as in case of the previous method. This is the basic outline of the aminochemical screening by using lambda GT11 and lambda ZAP recombinant flakes. As I told you that here we can use different type of lambda insertion vectors here, first example is lambda GT11 and lambda ZAP vector can be used. Here, the cloned gene, it can be expressed as a fusion protein because it can be inserted within lambda Z gene. So, lambda Z gene along with target protein, it can be expressed. So, in polylinked site, in case of lambda Z, the target DNA, it can be inserted and it can be digested with equar one in case of lambda GT11. So, we have inserted cDNA here in case of lambda GT11 or lambda ZAP vector. And then this titer of bacteriophage lambda, then it can be plated on a host organism and here host organism, it is E. coli Y1090. So the phage particles, they are incubated here for four to six hours at 37 degrees Celsius so that the plaque formation, it is there, host cell lysis is there. After host cell lysis, the nitrocellulose membrane, it is placed on the plaques. So here, replica plating, it is not required because the master plate, it is retained after the plaque lift. So sheet, this nitrocellulose sheet, it is uh, soaked with IPTG 
induced there. So when it is placed on the uh, lysed colonies, now the expression it is there of the target protein. Now after expression, the natrocellulose sheet it is lifted and then the expression product it is detected by using specific type of antibodies. And here the master plate it is retained here and if we have the idea that these plaques they are recombinants then we can process those plaques further. So this is the basic screening strategies where we can use lambda GT11 vector or lambda ZAP vector for a screening expression product. Now you have the idea that the in, in original method radio labeled or iodinated antibodies have been used. Now in this method uh, this radio labeled antibodies technique it can be superseded with other methods where we can use non radio labeled antibodies. Uh, for example here the antibodies like the secondary antibodies they can be uh, coated with certain chemical uh, agents that can be detected later on. And in some cases we can also use polyclonal antibodies uh, for screening. Lo polyclonal antibodies are those antibodies uh, that are uh, produced by different B cells and uh, they can react with different determinants on the target protein. So the specificity of the polyclonal, polyclonal antibodies it is high uh, as compared to monoclonal antibodies that can react with only single determinant.